Hello, my beautiful people. You are welcome back to today's tutorial. So, guys, you can see what you have on our screen. Yes, you can see how beautiful our handkerchief off shoulder uh, flag gown looks. You can see it's beside to use birds. So, this is beautiful. So, guys, let's quickly get started. So, you can see the off shoulder. So, the, we'll be needing our shoulder round measurements. Okay. See, so let's quickly now move over to our table. So, guys, I'm actually working with leftover fabric, okay? So, about two years here, so you can see. So, now you fold it this way, it's into fold here. So, the length is optional, okay? So, I will flip it this way, okay? So I'll be explaining both. If you want full flare, okay, I will explain that as well. So fold it this way. You can see what we have. Make sure you change the down uh, piece. So first, we place our shoulder length. The shoulder divide by two. Mine is 16 into two is eight. Okay, so let's say this way. So now I want to quickly now place our shoulder for those that work with flare, so I will explain that. But my is an handkerchief shape, so place it this way. But make sure you check your other piece to avoid shortage. So now I'll be placing my shoulder. My shoulder is 16, two, two is eight. So you place it this way, eight inches. Okay, so one inch that will serve as our same allowance. We decide to place an half inch. So I'll connect this. So this is now our chest line. Okay. So it will serve as a guide. So I'm all that, which is a shoulder divide by to support the 3.5 inches, place 8 inches as I'm all that. But I'll be placing 8.5 because we're working direct to our fabric. So what we have here is shoulder plus one in same allowance but now it's an option that you place your tape this way so your arm all this way to find whatever you have there mine is 12 inches okay so note we'll be adding one in same allowance so i'll place six inches plus one in same allowance so you see i have to click confirm if i have up to eight inches so I find the midpoint of my arm hole, which is four. So I will connect it this way. So this, I have not extended it to the seven inches. So this is how you curve it. But the first uh, arm hole depth is just for a guide. So I have total of 12 inches, but now it's 13 with one inch same allowance. Okay, so for the chest, I have enough. Is 11.5 and half up to 15 here. Yeah? So the next thing to do now is to find the length. So subtract the 3.5 inches. Okay, I use 3.5 because it's an off shoulder. I support 3.5 and we're working direct to the fabric. So I'm placing 44 inches. So this is how to place your length for those that be working with full circle uh, flare gown. So you add um fabric this way or you fold it to this length okay so this i should look like but mine is an handkerchief uh, shape so you see so you will just connect it so you can decide to make it shapey by going in like two inches on your waistline or just connect this straight this way so for those that are working with a full uh, circle gown flare gown with an off shoulder so now you can find the waistline, which is 17 inches. You will just connect it this way. So give you that curve on your waistline. See? To your desire, that to the hemline. But this part is optional. So mine, I'm just connecting it there. Eh? Straight. Okay? So let me explain it better. Yes? Yeah? So you fold it. It's into fold. You flip it. Exactly what you did on the main bodies. 
So cut it as a shoulder, the arm hole, you can see. The side seam this way, and uh, the pointy this way, the handkerchief, which is this part, okay? So you open it up this way. You can see it has taken the form. That's what we have here. But for full circle gown, is this way. Extend it to the chalk that I marked here, okay? So it's still the same material. You can see how beautiful it looks. So the pointy part is this, the side is this, you can see? So let's quickly now connect it this way. So if you want your neck deeper, just step down an half inch. So let me pull this part out this way. Like what I said, that part was just for a guide. So you see? So I'll be cutting now to that one inch same allowance this way, okay? So cut it this way. Place it, you see? But now I have to take it now back to my standard measurement. The first one is just the uh, shoulder line, okay? So let me quickly cut this part before I trim out that one inch. So it's very really simple, guys. And please, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, share, like, comment. I love you all. So this is how it should look like. You cut it this way. But mine is just this uh, handkerchief uh, flare. You see? So, this is it. So now, let me quickly open it up first. For cutting out that one inch. You can see? I went in, in with an half inch, so you have to cross check, you see, so I quickly now have to fold it, but before then you say, place it, is your shoulder, but you have to subtract and place your measurement, so I quickly now cut out this one inch, this way, so for the sleeve, you see, you place your tape this way, to find your, the fullest part of your arm, you can see, so it depends how you want this part to be. So if you want your sleeve uh, free, like this is what I was explaining earlier, which I used to to shoulder and place it. Our uh, own is here is 13 inches. Why mine? I used uh, 12 inches. So it's really simple, guys. So over to our sleeve, you can see the fullest part folded this way is into fold. Here's your measurement. Mine is um. 6.5 inches which is 13 that includes the same allowance so i'll place it this way the arm hole depth which is 8 inches i subtracted 3.5 inches this is to take your measurements so depending how free you want your sleeve to be too so i place mine sorry so i place 8 inches this way how to check to change my tape so went in for the arm hole one inch so connect it this way you decide to work with the curvy one or slant it by one uh, one inch or half inch so see place it this way as the first part so for the sleeve length i'm working with 17 inches with uh, the hemming so you just connect this way to have the Point because I want my sleeve to point it too. Yes. So for your gown, if you want it curvy, you decide to work with curvy sleeve. So I make it point in this way. So this is it. So guys, the curvy one is this way. So that is it. So it's really simple, guys. Add seam allowance all around because it's direct to the fabric. So let's quickly cut it out. It seems I have a shortage, yes. So I will cut this. Not forget to add seam allowance because it's direct to the fabric. So you cut this way. The second chuck, cut it this way. So I have to really blend it properly. So this is it, you can see. I have a little shortage here, so I'll be dipping my armhole with an half inch as well. 
Yes. So to cross check, so I have the 6.5 inches. By the time I hem so you produce the main uh, bodies this way. See, by the time you fix your sleeve, the pointy part. So I will cut my sleeve into uh, two, two piece now. So you can see the pointy part here. So that is how I want my sleeve to appear. <laughs> so I have to quickly now introduce my lining. So this is my lining. So it's an inseam, yes, but it's short lining. I don't have much lining available. So I will cut my arm all this. We decide to fold it, okay? So I'll cut it this way. So I'll be joining my main bodies separately and my lining separately. Okay? So cut it out this way. So guys, we decide to work with full lining, okay? You can see what we have now. So, we had to clean and move over to the sewing machine first. I had to cut this side seam separately as well. I will flip it this way. Okay. To be on a safer side, so flip it. I just want you to have clearer view on what I'm talking about. So it's now separate. So you see the lining now. So I will take into my machine to join this way. See, right side facing the right side. Okay, this way. The same to the lining I show you guys to the hem line so on the neckline I'll quickly show you guys so you can see the lining parts So, so let me quickly explain it as well. So place it this way. Stitch. Okay, the two sides seam. Turn the neckline and show you guys. So you can see what we have. So you can see now I'm done turning the neckline. This I should look like right side facing the right side. So, as I said earlier, it's an inseam. So, this is it. So, it's time to turn it this way to the wrong side. This way. Okay. So, you see, I used a 0 0.5 inch. So, I'll flip it in this way for a better understanding. See? This side should look like the one we are we using our hemming gum to iron it so I can secure the neckline properly. So it's time to fix our sleeve. So this is our sleeve, you can see. So let me flip it this way. The side uh, same this way. So the main body is this way, not your lining. You flip it this way, okay? I have to turn it properly for a better understanding. But this part is a bit uh, tricky because an inseam. So see, the two sides seam, okay? Place your sleeve this way. 
let me quickly pin it down okay that is the arm or joint that's what we have there so pin to our chest line this way this is direct to the main uh, bodies that is the gown that's our main fabric not to the lining first so pin it this way pin this other part as well you see pin it all around you can see half inch and show you guys but before then let me flip it in see so when you tell me you want to join the lining you will pin it this way but you have to flip your lining this way size seam it is size seam but let's stitch this first so you can see i'm done stitching this first one but i have to take it one at a time for better understanding guys so the other part see half in so now i have to flip my lining this way you can see flip it place it the side seam this way so you see half inch as well and show you guys so you can see guys i'm through see what we have here this size should look like see how the sleeve is now and see how pointy so it's very simple guys you can see this eye should look like when you are through so guys please we find this interesting so i will take my own table to add my hemming gum yes so i will place it in and hem my lining this well the same to my main bodies all round so that is all guys for this tutorial so please if you find it interesting like share you can see how pointy my sleeve is you can see my sleeve is pointy my gun part is pointy too guys this is all for this tutorial so please if you find it interesting like share i love you all god bless you all